The thing about vampires is that they're hard to spot. They look like people, they act like people, and they're often a lot more secretive than people. Plus, they'll more than likely never be out during the day. You've gotta keep your eyes peeled to catch one in the act, but at that point, you're probably in danger too. Some folks have managed to see vampires though, and tell tales of their exploits. Often they'll be late night encounters, adding to the mystery and intrigue. Unfortunately, most vampires can't be caught on camera. How convenient, right? Hello horror heads, and welcome back to the scariest channel on YouTube, Top 5 Scary Videos. I'm your horror host, Keegan Hughes, and today we're going to be taking a look at the top 5 scary vampires spotted at 3am. If you like learning about fascinating and freaky creatures, check out our playlist full of more monsters. Wicked. Let's get started. Coming in at number 5, we've got the Zimbabwe Vampire. We'll kick this list off with a real blood drinker who got caught in the act. No stories from a friend of a friend, this one was literally discovered as he partook in vampiric activities. Plus, after he was caught, even more blood was found. It all started in the village of Sikiwu. A man who was known to sometimes lose his mind was walking alone when he spotted an elderly woman. Something overcame him and he attacked her with a log. If the attack itself wasn't enough, he was then overcome with a thirst for blood. He took out a sharp weapon and cut her throat before drinking the blood right there in the street. The man also had a large container with him which he began to fill with some of the blood. Eventually he was spotted by some concerned citizens who tried to stop him, but at that point he fled the scene. Villagers then banded together to attempt to find this vampiric killer and eventually did. After a hasty manhunt, they were able to find the man, restrain him, and bring him to the police. Nobody had expected this man to be so bloodthirsty, but it seems as though it was something he quite enjoyed. The container he brought to fill with blood should be evidence enough of that. The man was arrested and has not engaged in blood sports since. Was this a real vampire? How did he know he was looking for blood originally? It's possible that he did just experience a mental break and went berserk, too. But if he was a vampire, I'd be keeping an eye out in the community, just in case he managed to turn anyone else. The last thing a village needs is a burgeoning class of vampires. Just look to any classic Transylvanian tale for proof of that. Coming in at number four, we've got vampire squirrels. Wait. What? Vampire what now? That's right. Within the past five years, researchers have managed to capture a fascinating and elusive type of squirrel on camera. Known as the Bornean Tufted Ground Squirrel, this fluffy-tailed mammal proves that looks can be deceiving. It has the fluffiest tail of all mammals and really is quite cute. However, it doesn't act like you'd expect a squirrel to act. I guess most squirrels can be pretty aggressive, eh? Ever seen a city squirrel jump at someone for part of their picnic in the park? Still though, no other squirrels seem to have the blood blood drinking habit. Yep, these squirrels are vampire squirrels, or so the legend says. See, these squirrels, like vampires, are very hard to pin down. The video footage folks have of this mysterious creature is so limited that essentially nothing is known about them. But people have been saying that it wouldn't be too surprising if they hopped onto a wayward deer and took a quick drink. In fact, the forest-dwelling Dayak hunters say that these squirrels do more than take a sip or two of the red fluid. They go straight for the jugular, killing the deer. Once the animal is dead, these squirrels eat the internal organs, leaving behind disemboweled deer bodies. Imagine watching a squirrel take down an entire deer. Just incredible. Local folks claim that they've seen just that, but there's no reliable evidence to back these claims up. The squirrels live in the forests of Borneo, so if you don't want to get torn apart by any, maybe stick to Central Park. Although, New York squirrels might just be that aggressive. Coming in at number three, we've got the Vampire of Buckinghamshire. Vampires have been terrifying forever, and this sighting is proof of that. Way back before Count Dracula or even Vlad the Impaler, there was a vampire sighting in Buckinghamshire. A woman had buried her husband after he died and was going through a difficult grieving period. Two nights after the burial, she was startled awake. There was someone in her room. The person came closer and closer to her bed and eventually it was revealed to be her husband. Sadness and terror overcame her as the husband climbed on top of her with the intent to kill. He put all of his weight on her and she nearly suffocated, but somehow she survived. The next day, she petitioned her friends to keep watch as she slept. The husband returned, but was scared off by the folks standing guard. After this, the vampire husband was seen all over town, attacking people for seemingly no reason. But nobody seemed to be able to pin him down. The townspeople asked the church for help, and the archdeacon wrote to the bishop. His advice? Dig up the body and burn it. But the archdeacon wasn't too happy with this strategy, as he thought it was disrespectful to the man's soul. So instead, he had the bishop write a letter of absolution for the man, and then pinned it to the vampire's chest. Somehow, this worked. The vampire was no longer seen around town. 
but you have to wonder what brought him back in the first place. Coming in at number two, we've got the Carter Brothers. New Orleans is rich with occult history, so of course there are some wicked vampire tales to tell. Back in the 1930s, there were two brothers living in the French Quarter. John and Wayne Carter had regular jobs and kept to themselves. They didn't bother anyone and they didn't cause any trouble. Well, at least that's how it seemed. To everyone's surprise and terror, a young woman came to the police in hysterics. She had just escaped from the Carter brothers' apartment. They had been holding her captive and drinking her blood for weeks. The police took this very seriously and raided the apartment. What they found would make anyone sick to the stomach. Inside were four more girls, all covered in wounds meant to siphon blood for consumption. After freeing the prisoners, the police attempted to arrest the Carter brothers. When they found the vampiric siblings, an insane fight ensued. Apparently, it took eight men to restrain the two brothers. They had been possessed by some otherworldly strength, likely that belonging to vampires. In the investigation that followed, it was discovered that the brothers had kidnapped and killed over 14 victims. That's a fair bit of blood for two brothers who seemed to be a couple of average guys. They were tried, found guilty, and executed, but the story doesn't end there. Years down the line, another Carter died and was to be put in the family tomb. When the vault was opened up, the bodies of the brothers were gone. See, that's why you gotta burn the vampires. Burying them is just inviting disaster. Ever since then, many people have claimed to see the two brothers skulking about New Orleans. So add that to your list of paranormal experiences in the city. Be careful when you check it off though. If you see them, they probably see you too. And coming in at number one, we've got a CCTV scare. We mentioned earlier that vampires don't get picked up on camera, right? Well, they don't have much of a reflection either, which is why this video is so confusing. Check it out. No, no, look. The man in black walks right by the gigantic mirror that we just saw reflect someone else and there's no reflection, but he's still picked up on CCTV. How does that work? What's going on here? You have to wonder why a vampire would be shopping at a retail store during the day too. There are so many things to consider here, but very few satisfying answers. It makes you think about all the times you might have walked right by a vampire and not even known it. I suppose I have to admit something after this clip. This vampire was not spotted at 3 a.m. I know, I know, false advertising in the lot, but the footage was too interesting to give up. The rest of the vampires are eyewitness accounts, you know, because vampires. But this one seems to defy logic and follow it at the same time. Is it just a cool camera trick? Maybe a glitch in the matrix? Tell me how you think this happened. All right. So did any of these vampire sightings convince you of their veracity? Or are you more skeptical than ever? What do you think of the list? What's your favorite vampire sighting? Have you ever seen one yourself? Make sure you let me know down in the comments. Speaking of comments, let's take a look at some of your more garlicky ones from the top five most bizarre cosmic horror movies. Guibox3 says, what is bizarre in concept has to become bizarre on screen. Yes, this is why so many Stephen King adaptations miss the mark. Some of his stuff is so in the head of the characters and have so many cerebral moments that it is near impossible to effectively bring them to screen, even though King makes them work so wonderfully on the page. The Langoliers, Dreamcatchers, The Dark Tower, and for the most part, it's one and two for a few glaring examples. Same with most of Clive Barker's works. Absolutely. I feel like a lot of that comes from a filmmaker or producer who doesn't totally understand the source material and tries to adapt it for a wide audience anyways. Outsider Sidoroth says, Nick Cage is truly the ideal actor to display what a broken, smiling man looks like after surviving Eldritch Horror. I always go back to Abed's Nick Cage breakdown and think that he saw something greater in that moment. Don Pandemoniac says, Stuart Gordon and Brian Usna had their hands in some really strangely fantastic movies. Such a shame that Gordon passed away this year. Rest in peace, Mr. Gordon. He left a heck of a legacy though. I've been marathoning some of his less known stuff. Space Trekkers, anyone? Smiley Hugar says, oh my, I've seen all these movies. I must be a cosmic creep, lol. Keep up the good work. Indeed you must be. Keep up the cosmic creepery. Huda Gras says, weirdest cosmic horror I can conjure? Spider-Man 3. Oh yeah, Tobey Maguire's performance took my brain to places I still don't understand. And that's all the time we have for today. Before I place my skull in a hydraulic press, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe for more hootin' and hollerin'. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Fortunately, most by That's right, within the fa Within the past five years, researchers, researchers, the vault was opened up, the brothers of the bodies, ooh, the brothers of the bodies.